Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of What's That Pepper? Today we are going to take a look at the beautiful Sweet Linzo. So this variety started a little late, so that is why now it's November 27th and she is finally um, producing some ripe pods for me to pick. So uh, let's take a closer look at this plant. I have another one that is uh, turning red, so we'll pick it from that. But uh, I just want to show you the fruits here, guys. This is amazing. They're beautiful. Look at this. So this variety um, is very unique in the way they grow. You see, they, they have like little clusters. And then look at the stems on these things, guys. They hang down like little light bulbs. They look pretty dangerous, but they're very, very low in heat. So they have like little to no heat at all. So, um... They, they grow like in little bundles, which I really love. So you have this little bundle and then that little bundle may grow another branch and then that will produce some more fruit. So you can see there, you see, uh, there's a little bundle right there and there's some fruit in there. And then it, it'll grow into like a little bundle and then it, it, it spreads out like a little umbrella. You see this? So there's like pods everywhere. So um, the red is the final color and uh, I'm not sure if uh, how good they taste when they're green. Maybe we should pick one like this one here. This one is starting to turn. And the thing I love about this is the stems is so long so that you can just pull it like this. And look at that. So we are going to try this green one and see how good it is. And also we're going to pick a red one. So let's go to the other one. Okay, here's the, uh, the other sweet Linzo. And as you see here, there's some red one here. It's a little small but uh, we'll, we'll pick it as well. So look at the stems, guys. <laughs> They're so long. They look like little um, little fire on top, standing on a little pole like this, like a candlestick. Okay, so we'll pick a few more. So they do get a little bigger than this. These are the little ones, so I guess they, the little ones kind of ripen up first. So you see, love the way they grow. This particular um, uh, plant itself is a little small, but uh, these can grow very, very big. And uh, I think it's because they were shaded earlier in the in the year, so it just remains small. Well, speaking of what's shading it, these are peach pumpkins, and I will be doing maybe a review of that coming up. So let me give you a sneak peek at the pods. Let me pick one. See, it's way in there. Look at that, guys, how cute this is. So this should be coming up pretty soon. Beautiful peach pods there. Okay, here is a closer look at the pods that we picked earlier. And look at this beautiful green one, you see? It looks pretty dangerous, like it's gonna be really, really hot. Same with these. These are not quite super ripe, but I usually like it around this stage because they're nice and firm and crunchy, with packed with flavor. And uh, I, I picked the little peach pumpkin to show you. Here's a few more, look at that. How cute those are. They taste good too, so uh, that would be coming up. So let's cut these open and see. And the thing I love about this is that um, they have very few seeds in here, which is uh, great to eat. But when it comes to seed saving, it's pretty difficult to save because they don't have, they don't produce that many seeds. You see, so there's um, just a few seeds there, and we'll cut this green one open as well and see. And as you can see, I'm not wearing gloves because <laughs> these are not very hot. So the green ones are nice and crunchy. That's what it looks like in the middle. So, um, wow, it has a really nice fruity uh, tropical smell, guys. I can smell it from here. Very nice, uh, pleasant aroma, and it's, it does smell hot. Okay, so uh, let's try them out. 
Okay guys, here is my sweet Linzo. So let's give it a smell. Mmm, smells so nice. It has like a nice sweet tropical fruit smell. It does have that peppery uh, scent into there that would make you think it's going to be really hot. The, the red one smells pretty nice. Let's see what the green one. Uh, the, re the green one smells almost the same but not as strong. It does have that peppery smell that makes you think it's going to be hot. Okay, so before we try it, I'll give you a little bit of a history. So the Linzo was a originally a cross between my chocolate scotch bonnet and my bird's eye pepper, my Thai bird's eye pepper a, a long time ago. So initially it came out red and then over a few season, a seasons of me growing them, uh, they came out a chocolate color as well. And so the chocolate color was really hot and uh, I grew a, them in hydroponic and, and soil and everything. And then over the years, I keep growing them and then uh, this variety came out where the heat was really reduced. Uh, so um, I thought that was really strange. So I took the one that has the reduced heat and I grew it last year and then it did have very little heat. And then I took that same one again and grow it this year and this is what I came out of it. So the heat pretty uh, is pretty consistent. It's very little to none, so uh, which is great. But my other chocolate Linzo is really super spicy. So anyway, let's give this a, a taste. Um, because I know it's not that hot, so I'll just eat the whole thing. Actually, you know what? We, we eat this whole one right here. Mmm. Very nice and sweet with this tropical flavor. Nice, nice texture too. It's not that rough Thai taste. Very similar to a lot of the ahi varieties that I grew. It has a slight scent of um, heat. Very little. It could be like a surprise, you know, sometimes you eat a jalapeno and there's no heat in it. And sometimes you eat a jalapeno and there's a lot of heat in it. This one is less than a jalapeno for sure. Hmm. Yeah, nice sweet flavor. You get this peppery aroma that starts to kick in after you chew it for a little bit. And then a slight bit of heat. Let me try the green one. Yeah, definitely the red one is the way to go. <laughs> the green one lacks flavor. It does have all of the same taste, but a reduced sweetness and not as good. So definitely wait until it's red, because the red one, you get the nice sweetness to it. Mm. Yep, definitely. And there's a little bit of a, a zesty flavor to it as well. Pretty strange. Almost like a, like a, like an orange. Very strange, but overall great flavor. So um, little to no heat at all. Every once in a while you find one that has some heat, but not very much. Beautiful plant to grow, produce like crazy, and I love the way they hang down, guys. The, the stems are so long, they just look really, really neat. And they grow in a little bundle. Uh, yeah, and overall the plant is just beautiful. So um, yeah, I, I, I'm definitely growing this every year. Because you know, the thing is, I, I go into the garden, I do work, and every, every once in a while I just pick my favorite variety of peppers and I eat it in the garden as I work. <laughs> so like the Brazilian starfish, I eat those all the time while I work. The, the sweet linzo, uh, the Queenie, which is uh, somehow it turned sweet this year. So that all I do is I just, I just pick a whole a handful. I put it in my pocket and as I work around the garden, I just eat them. <laughs> I think they're packed full of vitamins too. So it, it's a, it's great overall. So anyway, guys, that's, that is the Sweet Linzo. And um, 
I'm going this again next year. So I'll see you again on the next What's the, what's the Pepper video.